This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Halbig. Cheers, memory heart. Look at me. I'm drinking out of a real mug today. Yeah. I mean, good for you. Look, I, if I did that, that would be dangerous driving on my part coming no, over here. Look, here's the thing is that I, you know, we're a Yeti family. Yes. A thousand yes. percent. And I love it because it keeps your drink hot forever. But but you don't get the sensation of holding a warm mug. Yeah. And true. sometimes your girl wants to feel cozy and hold a warm mug. What's that? Porcelain? What's that made out of? What's a mug made out what's of? Ceramic? Di- what's the difference between porcelain and glass? <laughs> I don't know. But on the Great Pottery Throwdown, they for sure know. They, Wait, porcelain yeah. and glass? Yeah. Well, glass is clear. But can't you? <laughs> can't it be other things? Perhaps. Uh, you're asking the wrong people. I guess, yeah, this Um, porcelain mug, my face, has no idea. Did you see what's going on with Stanley Cups? What's, they've become this, like, um, iconic symbol of something, like, little girls are wanting Stanley Cups for, like, Christmas and birthdays and shit. When did that happen? I think that, and also, like, now people are starting to do the thing that's really gross, that's, like, fighting to get to the... You know, yeah. the, the launch, it's like Stanley Cups are like the new like s- sneakers yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's just another one of those. It's capitalism. I mean, I was like, I oh, yeah, a woman. <laughs> I have a story in my notes from weeks ago that I never talked about. Woman arrested after police found 65 Stanley Cups in her car. Stop it. Yeah, that she was. Did she steal with, them or? Uh, yeah, a value of nearly twenty five hundred dollars from okay. um a store they were just all in her trunk but also uh, isn't there a story now that they contain lead is there there's a worry about stanley cups containing i lead. don't know snl did a sketch on stanley cups yeah. but just calling it like big dumb cups it's when <laughs> dakota fanning hosted yeah and you know it was pretty funny like she was like um big dumb cups it was like for when you want to say i have um, I'm a f- I have five children and I'm a v- uh, no Stanley Cups <laughs> for when you want to say I'm a virgin with four children That's like you know what right. I mean? it's just yeah. it's very Utah yes yeah. I love that I'm elitist when I literally just have a different type of big yeah dumb cup. I just have a non-branded sleek beautiful cup that has really actually changed the quality of my life in the last See, year you gotta talk yeah. about it yeah it's gonna be on my list of cancer products like it really it was beneficial for cancer but I do find it hilarious, like Beanie Babies, that they've suddenly become this like collector's right. item. And now little girls are looking at them of yes. like, this will make me popular. And I hate, oh, that's the part that, ooh. Because you my think they're, they're bringing them to class and being like, well, it's just, I'm surprised they don't ban big dumb cups in class. Right. I would think, because I, I mean, yeah, I don't that status symbol. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't look into that kind of um news but i just googled stanley cups lead and it says yes stanley cups contain lead in their manufacturing process so it's like everything okay (laughs) is that okay (laughs) why did you sound like lisa barlow is that okay aren't the like our parents generation is the like lead paint generation oh baby they're 98 percent lead yeah 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 like it's over for them but the millennials i guess maybe still have a chance who knows let me ask you this yeah What's the di- what's the difference between lead and unleaded gas? Like why? <laughs> Again, asking the wrong person. <laughs> Can you tell that I've just been at home preparing for this cookbook? Yeah. Photo shoot and not talking to other humans mm-hmm. because so far <laughs> I'm yes, I can s- tell. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, yes. Oh, I'm not even stoned, you guys. I'm not stoned at all. No, Mamie's got work to do. Baby. That's it. We are recording this earlier than we usually record. Yeah. We're recording on a Saturday for once. Because of your schedule and not my (laughs) schedule. No, uh, please. (laughs) I feel like you're always bending to my schedule. But I was telling Grace before we got on here that I went and did yoga this morning. No big deal, except it is a huge deal. Huge deal. Um, And then when I was leaving, I said to Jacqueline, I was like, oh, I got to go record record the podcast because i have the cookbook shoot i wanted to do it tomorrow but grace has plans and like just the fact that you have plans is such a testament to how far you along you are it's wild i've been having a lot of very surreal moments right now we've started yeah making plans but i'm also in the radiation mix right right now about halfway almost halfway through by the time this comes out halfway through And so I will be feeling fatigue. So it's still I'm walking on eggshells a little bit of like, when will my body feel bad? Checking in with where I'm at. Am I okay? You can make plans and then just know that 
you can cancel right once once you cross well, that bridge yeah i think i have the um most uh open-ended cancel card for the oh, rest yeah. of my life <laughs> that's Damn. like the one real benefit wow. about getting cancer is that it's kind of a shitty club, but the membership card you can use to cancel almost Wait, anything at any time. hold on. If you cancel dinner on me in two years... I'll be like... I'll be like, I'll be like, really? The radiation just hit like you, bitch? The fatigue happens after, <laughs> and it just so happens uh, two years later. I'm feeling it. Uh, one thing that someone did message me about... Okay. The asparagus fortune teller. <gasps> She's back in the mix, the right? The asparamancer has made some 2024 predictions. They are not very interesting. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw this DM and thought they were the same predictions from last year. They seem, they're mostly UK specific predictions. Oh, royal family. She is, yeah, um, I forget exactly where she's from, but Jemima Packington. Who always the best name. We have talked about on previous episodes that she reads the future with asparagus she tosses them in the air, mm-hmm. they land, and she interprets the pattern that they make. And she has previously predicted Brexit, the Queen's death, COVID continuing to be a threat, and the Harry and Meghan storm that engulfed the royals. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. When she called Brexit, was it like on the, like, was that she decided to, were they already voting? You right. know what I mean? Like, you, I can't, know. you can't be like, Oh, and COVID will be bad. It'll be like, well, that would that would be helpful if you read that in your asparagus before it came to <laughs> yeah. the countries. Yeah. Like I don't I don't know if anyone's going to her for accurate predictions other than the entertainment quality of the predictions. Yeah. She says that she reads the shapes of asparagus spears as they land and boasts uh that she has an impressive seventy to ninety five percent accuracy rate. 70 is not yeah. that impressive. Yeah. When you put the 295, of course, 95 yeah, is impressive. Course. But if I'm getting 71% accuracy. That's a D minus. On a death of someone. Yeah. That I'm like, you know, that's, that's an risky. emotional roller coaster. I think one of these days mm-hmm. when we finally get back to England. Yes. Because we we always we've had like close calls where it was like we're going to yeah. England. There's COVID. We're going yep. to England. There's cancer. Yep. We're go- you know the big C's the big came C's. out swinging. <laughs> the big C's. Um, I think we should try to get readings from her. Does she do personal readings or does she only do world events? That I don't know. This was you know not heavily covered. Uh, mm. This was an article in the Daily Mail, which I'm almost certain has infected my computer with a billion. Uh, viruses after I oh, open this. Speaking there's of, a lot going on on this article. Well, it has viruses and it infects your computer. And also, if you, if anyone sends me an article from the Daily Mail and I click it, mm-hmm. I'm a thousand percent immediately seeing like a toenail fungus. Yep. Uh, ad. Oh, they're really out there Oof. doing like right here is um a depends ad on the left hand <laughs> side. And those okay. Are you gonna shit your pants? Depends. But these uh, <laughs> models look confident. So <laughs> good for them. Everyone's out there getting work. But here, it. I'll give you a couple of the predictions that were more notable to me. Okay. They're they tend to be very broad. Like they, yes. this is just a list from this article. So I don't know if she's out there predicting more specific stuff like on she her site or is whatever. No Caputo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is okay. The culture of celebrity will be on the wane and people will lose interest in their antics. Pretty broad. You're telling me the Kardashians aren't getting another season? Yeah, right. Maybe. She said, uh, in line with that, public figures uh oh no no. no. Internet influencers will lose their sway as people realize it is the real world they live in that matters. This bitch is just saying everybody's going to be unpopular. (laughs) Her next tradition is like people who tell the future via vegetables will make a massive. Will rake in money from popularity swing. She does foresee that the U.S. uh, will elect the first woman president, denying (gasps) both Joe Biden and Donald Trump a second run in the White House. That was a big prediction that stood out this year. I'm going to say she's not getting that one right. I don't know. I mean, we'll I I don't know. She also says that mental health and well-being will continue to be an important factor worldwide. This will no longer carry the stigma of old. Okay. I'm over her. I'm I'm good on her. Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> this is. I 
want specifics. What like, Kardashian is doing? Mental health what? is important. Yeah, public figures will be outed as having profited from illegal actions. That, Duh. Yeah. Tale as old as time. <laughs> yeah, they are hilarious in how broad they are, and that literally, like, an AI bot could have come up with these as well but we'll see we'll see Ugh, she i'm over her yep but thank you to uh the person that dm <laughs> yes. letting us know that she's still oh out there making God. predictions today we have support from hello fresh with hello fresh you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking easy fun and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. No more staring blankly into the fridge wondering what to make for dinner. Give HelloFresh a try and dig into the biggest menu yet with over 45 recipes to choose from each week. You can ditch the meal planning blues and the grocery store runs with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Just choose your meals, select your delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and shopping. So all you have to do is open your weekly box of fresh pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes to get cooking. And this time of year, everyone's looking to revamp their eating habits and get back on track. Look to HelloFresh's wholesome health forward options like over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. They say breakfast you know, is the most important meal of the day. And HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life. That means that you'll enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. You guys know I love HelloFresh. I've worked with HelloFresh extensively in the past. I am currently staring at a recipe for creamy Dijon dill chicken from HelloFresh that I will be making tonight. That's on my counter looking at me, looking all delicious. So you guys can try Trust that this is truly an excellent meal kit. I mean, it's America's number one meal kit. So if you are interested, go to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW free and use code TMGW free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscriptions are active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash TMGW free with code TMGW free F R E E. Going online without ExpressVPN is like getting changed while your window's wide open. You might not have anything to hide, but why give people the chance to invade your privacy, you know? When you go online without a VPN, internet service providers, ISPs, can see every single website that you visit. They can legally sell this information without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. So, you can use ExpressVPN to browse more anonymously. When you use ExpressVPN, ISPs cannot see your online activity. Your identity is anonymized, that's a word, by a secure VPN server. Your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. And it's super easy to use. You just fire up the app and you click one button. And it works on all devices, phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. I even use ExpressVPN to watch Eagles games that do not play on the West Coast. I will go in and sign in uh, on the East Coast. And occasionally I'm able to watch Eagles games, which has worked out incredibly well for me, except for what happened this season. But that's neither here nor there. Secure your online activity by visiting visiting expressvpn.com slash tmgw today that's expressvpn.com slash tmgw and you can get an extra three months free expressvpn.com slash tmgw i had an interesting interaction this morning i'd love to hear about it well i took means for a walk in which i dropped off some body oil at a friend's house which i told you about yep that's um a, that's Real adult friendship. Real adult friendship. Um, but so anyway, I'm walking and you know I have a great rapport with all the very old men in this neighborhood. Yeah. You know, there's the guy who has the army jeep in his front yard who says like, if you want to go to have, if you want to meet your maker, like step on my, you know, it's a crazy ass sign. <laughs> like step, you know, it's like a gun sign. Yeah. But he he talks to me about his Bronco, my Bronco, and we chat. Nice. Another old guy. We're You know, we have like little like dog friendships. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But there's this one super oldie mm -hmm. who like always has on a beanie and like walks with shuffled feet and every time i've said hello complete 
ignore me. Okay. Right? So I've been like, oh, he's either really mean. <laughs> yeah. Or there's a language barrier. Yeah. Or he's like, doesn't hear well. Part of hearing, yeah. But I've never gotten a high back. Yeah. Or okay. good morning or anything. Not right? even like eye contact or anything? Maybe maybe a little doot doot. Okay. You know, just a little Felix the cat. Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, absolutely ignores me, right? Okay. And I'm like, oh man, okay. I mean, for years, uh-huh. right? So Beans and I are crossing the street and I would normally not like try to be up on this stranger, yeah. but we're going that way to drop off the body oil. Right, okay. Right, so he's there. We're walking and it just so happened like his speed and Beans' speed were the same. <laughs> so like we're walking kind of together for about 10 yards. <laughs> and you guys drafted. <laughs> and I'm like, hello, good morning, <laughs> right? So I go, hello, good morning, come on, Beans. And he just goes, Chicago. <laughs> And I go, yeah, Chicago. And he goes, Los Angeles. And I said, that's what's up. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh. and now I'm realizing why we're not interacting. Uh-huh. I, I'm like, come on, bees, let's go, let's go. And he just goes, Maine, New England. <laughs> and I go, okay, 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 okay. So then I round the corner with beans and then he just, he rounds the corner, the uh-huh. same corner. I'm like, oh God, uh-huh. uh, at this church. And then he just Homer Simpsons into a bush. <laughs> Wait, what? He just backs it into a bush and, and and just stays there. And I was like, well, I guess this one isn't going to be a new friend of mine. No. I'm going to stop. Saying, I mean, bless his heart. But I was like, if you would have given me a million guesses, I didn't know he was just going to shout towns at me and then back one into state. a bush. Yeah, he ran out of, he made him nervous. He ran out of <laughs> states and cities that he remembered to shout and he had to get out of there. I was sh- I mean, we were so close That's to each other man. when the Chicago came out and I just go, oh, and this is the part of the podcast Chip is listening to where he goes, That's why you don't say hi to people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of a saying hi to people uh, when I'm walking, especially when I'm walking goose because, you know. Well, I know the goose interaction. Yeah, the she's a, an aggressive dog and I never know if she's going to, th- what she's going to assume is an enemy and want to jump after. Um, but that is so funny. I've always either wanted to do the Homer Simpson exit or see someone do a it Homer Simpson wild. exit. It was wild. It was into a bush at a church and I was just like, <laughs> at what point do I just pick up beans and cross the street right. um <laughs> it was it was great it was i mean good for him yep. but i was truly like man years in the making yeah now i know maybe he's just a huge fan of ariana being in chicago I, on broadway now no but main but new Los england Angeles? Yeah, maybe we, got a, it, we like, got a state and a region. I think he was going strong with Chicago and Los Angeles, and then you made him flustered. And Here's what, he thought Maine was a city and New England was a state. Do I avoid him now constantly, or do I see him from across the street mm-hmm. and and am I like Dallas? Roanoke! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do I try to give him some new ones? <laughs> yeah. I think you could. Because shouting happens. a city or place at each other honestly ideal right there's it's harmless brain it's, teaser yeah it's keeping the brain sharp what other cities are there back and forth i think that's fair so that, this Thanks. morning i was like well that was it that was it. interesting yeah woke you up maybe it's uh maybe there are hints or clues to something oh, and oh it's no. gonna be like um ask the experimenter what's, what's that movie the da vinci code oh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, Chicago, Los Angeles, <laughs> yeah. Maine, New England. This will all come in handy at some point next week. You'll need these pieces of information. He's he's literally telling us our next tour dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was our agent. That was our touring <laughs> agent that you actually saw. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think we need to get into this. Because yes. we, we teased yes. something we were going to talk about on this podcast. Yes. And, like, we got to get into it because I got to go work on this cookbook. Yeah, I think it's... Even more appropriate because isn't the Super Bowl coming up next weekend? It is. I'm going to be in Florida. Yeah. Oh, fun. And you got me a Travis Kelsey jersey, jersey. way for my birthday. So I just saw that uh, the other day and I was like, oh, shit. Well, my outfit is solidified. It's solidified, baby. Chip and I had a couple of cocktails on my birthday trip in Hawaii. And he was like, let's order Grace a Kelsey so good. jersey. It's so good. It's going to be perfect. But... With that said, we had teased that, you know, we did the absolutely impressive ranking of egg, 
preparations. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think it's time we do potatoes. I think so, too. And I believe the egg conversation was about least fancy to fancy. Yeah. This is actually was, about personal preference. This is about personal preference, which I realized when I was trying to figure this out this morning, um, because I always put everything to the last minute. Uh, and I just wanted to see where I was at in the most up to date, you know, moment of my life. Mm -hmm. This was really difficult. It was because this changes, you know, here's the thing. I wrote down my list Mm -hmm. and then I thought I'm going to have immediate regrets once I say it. Same. I kept going. I'm forgetting (laughs) something. I tried to make this list with my heart and not my stomach. But and I was very hungry when making it. And same. I'm still I'm still kind of hungry. Same. I'm looking at this being like, this looks great. But I also feel like I'm very much forgetting potatoes, even though I Googled. I Googled ways to make potatoes. I Googled best preparations <laughs> of potatoes. I looked at food and wine lists I have open here. Yeah. I was looking up. Yeah. All like, what am I forgetting? So we'll see. We're we'll doing see. top 10. We're doing top 10. But here's I'm going to suggest something yeah. that might be uh, controversial. Mm hmm. I think we should start at one. Yeah, I agree. Because the my, more interesting ones, I think, are further down the list a little bit. I agree. Okay, great. And I'm also curious, you guys, <laughs> if you want to play along, <laughs> pause the podcast right here, Write make list. a list of top 10, and we'll oh, yeah. see what we uh, align on. Yes. Uh, okay. And then also we got to, I guess, clarify that different types of like French fries for instance, yes. fries wouldn't be one specific you, category. You need to get in there with more yeah. specifics. Yeah. Are they shoestring? Right. Are they... St- oh, first because of- fries itself could be its own 10-part list. You I know? agree. I agree. So this is a little difficult, but I think it still makes sense. I think sense we should get me. in there. Yeah. Should we just... Should we like three, two, one, and then we say our number one? Sure, except mine has a little explaining. Okay. Well, I'll tell you my number okay. one. My number one, this was very tough for me, one and two. It was was the most emotional podcast that we've ever. This was Sophie's choice. Um, I put classic French fry. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? To me, I'm talking McDonald's. I'm I'm talking, you go to a French restaurant. I'm talking the, you know, the quarter inch diameter square cut ideally double fried extra yes. crispy but see f- mcdonald's to me don't read that way that they are soggy and thin it's been a long time since i've had mcdonald's so yeah. maybe maybe they're different that's how i remember them but. i just want a classic french fry mm-hmm. with ketchup that is also my number one okay mine is, I, I well, mean, mine is french fry i put semi-thick super crisp <gasps> steak fries like no, not, not the huge steak fries. I'm talking middle, like medium size, which might be similar to what you're. I don't know a better way to describe it. Wait, like they have enough surface area, yeah, to carry a dip without folding or breaking in half. I agree, but when I hear steak fry, yeah, like I'm thinking like that. No, I'm not thinking. Uh, no, 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 like no, no. tape. I'm thinking like the 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 diameter of tape. No. Okay. Um, you well, want a classic tape. fry from like a diner. Yeah, but like super crispy. Same. Yeah, that like double fried. And whatever. you know, one of the ways they get them extra crispy yeah. is you soak the potatoes in water mm. and it releases the starch. So you soak, if you were to cut up some potatoes to make some fries at home, yeah, yeah. you soak them in ice water, it releases starch, and the <gasps> less starch that's in the potato, the crispier it gets. Damn, that sounds great. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I know. This is going to be <laughs> I'm gonna like, be a lot of spit in my mouth during <laughs> this list. I'm like Uber Eats from here. But that's like if I'm going quintessential, what yeah. would I want most of the time? Yes. Whether I'm hungover or completely healthy, like that's my number one. What would I miss the most if it didn't exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that. And so Fair. that said, I feel like you and I have the same number two. Okay. You want to do three, two, one? Three, two, one one mashed, mashed potatoes. potato yep oh wow yep. okay we're batting a thousand baby it's because they're just so versatile yeah. they're just so dependable yeah. you can dress them up dress them down i agree and also um are you a i want it smooth as can be are you a lumpy little are you little, a little chunk my very little though are you skin on or skin off probably like a red skin potato probably skin off Mm. in this moment yeah. that appeals to me more okay but there has to be like a sharp creaminess 
there. Mm. You know, like um, a cream cheese, sour cream, something going Whoa. on in there. Yeah, yeah cream yeah. cheese in your and mashed really potatoes. And really salty, really buttery. Yeah. yeah. I like a lot of cracked pepper. Oh, yeah, for sure. 100%. Oh, my God. We were supposed to have a mashed potato party, and this is yeah. making me think more and more <laughs> yeah, that <it> should <laughs> happen. Yeah, a mashed potato bar. When I was like in my early 20s, I went to a wedding that had a mashed potato bar at yep. the cocktail hour, and I was like, well, this is peak classy thing I'll ever do in my life yes. forever. Uh, and this is the smartest thing to do before people get shit faced. I agree. To pump them full of spuds. I think we can all agree mashed potatoes. I yeah. love a mashed potato. They are iconic. Yeah. They are perfect. Give me a little uh, gravy on it. It's. Mm-hmm. Fa- I mean, but I'll straight up eat mashed potatoes from KFC. And yeah. those bad boys are like, just add water instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind instant potatoes. I don't either. You know, I, uh, I'm not too fancy for that. And I'm a, I'm a texture snob. Yeah. But baby, I'll give me the give me the baby food. Yeah, exactly. It's I love great. Them. I mean, you'd hardly have to chew. It's a uh, it's a perfect kind of dish. Okay, now now it gets interesting. Now it gets interesting. Okay, I'm curious. What's your third? This one was, okay, here's the thing. Okay. This one was tough for me, Mm -hmm. and it might be one I regret. However, when I was looking at it, I do get a craving for this quite often. Okay. And partially, I know that because of how much Survivor I've been watching Mm. and how it becomes like a a big part of a meal reward for them. I love Uh a baked potato. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do your baked potatoes? But here's though? the thing. Yeah. Is I'm basically creating mashed potatoes within it. Right. You know what I mean? So I, okay, for my baked potatoes, mm-hmm. you get it. This whole putting it in tinfoil, no. What does that do? I think it might trap Keep the it heat. Crispy? So it, no. On the outside, the no. The opposite. Oh. So it kind of, I think it kind of steams it. I think basically it becomes like a little cocoon so that it just cooks quicker. Okay. But no, I'm stabbing it with my fork, yep. rubbing it with olive oil. Yep salt coarse salt Cracking all over salt. it putting it in there so that you get that crisp yep. edge right then i'm slitting it down the middle uh-huh. squishing it Squish, so you got yep. some space yeah i'm putting butter yes sometimes a little sour cream i'm not a big sour cream girl mm. lots of salt pepper cheese chives wow 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 you get in there yeah you get it wiggled and then what i do mm-hmm. is after i've eaten that potato mm-hmm. the innards yeah I like to dip the crispy skin in barbecue sauce. Whoa. Whoa. I said it. Leave your plate cleaner than you found it. You know it. Yeah. Amazing. Um, We just made baked potatoes in the air fryer the other day. Yeah. Pretty great. Solid move. It, I mean, if you're willing to take that big ass thing out and use it, it actually worked so much better than the oven did. Now, here's here's w- since we parted. Yeah. Do you tell me how if baked potato made your list? Here's what happened. I'll okay. tell you right now because this is the perfect number to do it. Okay. My number three, twice baked potato. I almost went there. Because I started thinking yes. I had baked potato at number yes. three. And I thought, honestly, I don't love, like we've had them recently and they've been fine mm. to accompany whatever we're having. But if I had my choice and I wasn't lazy, right, I would prefer a twice baked potato basically mashed potatoes inside of that potato shell i I mean honestly grace i went back and forth to put twice baked (laughs) on my list and i was and i was truly like they're so good i never make them i never make them because by the time the potatoes cook the first time i'm ready to eat yeah you're like like, this is good enough why would i need to put it back in there right exactly but when i went i googled twice baked potatoes and I started looking up recipes and I was like yeah this is the jam this looks great this is what I'm here for if I'm you know uh not lazy enough to just quit halfway through it the a recipe came up from Emerald Lagasse's restaurant that you can order a twice baked potato as your meal I mean amazing no and here's a little sneak peek yeah I have a recipe in my cookbook Mm -hmm. that's sweet potatoes Mm. And they're called Yams Casino, <gasps> like Clams Casino. And it's basically like a twice baked, but then you get that that Clams Casino topping yeah. of like, you know, c- coconut bacon, breadcrumbs, bell <gasps> pepper, shallots, Whoa. herbs. So it's like a crunchy top on it. Fuck, that sounds great. Sounds fucking good. Sounds right? awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm getting, I'm getting I, am, I didn't even put sweet potatoes no, on no, the No, 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 no. We weren't supposed to. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They didn't These appeal to me. Classic. Even though I'm thinking of them now, I'm still okay with my list. Classic spuds. Okay. Okay, this four. is where it gets A little freaky. dicey. A little dicey. Okay. Do you want to go first or I'll me? I'll go first. Yeah. This might sound crazy, but my four, 
potato salad. What happened? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that cold, creamy, yeah. like chunky texture. I love, I recently have realized that I love potato salad. Okay. Because we order barbecue in our neighborhood. There's a lot of like really mm. good barbecue spots and there's always a potato salad option wow. and it's awesome. Okay. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I have so many thoughts. Okay. One is that I think the reason why you love it so mm -hmm. much is because you love leftovers. I so love much. leftovers. Absolutely. So, so you're I'm like a texture and you temperature like a cold. person. Um, I, yeah. But just so you know, potato salad didn't make my list. Okay. However, Fair. I do. I hate mayonnaise. Yeah, that's see, I love the creaminess of ever, it. Ever, yeah. I love a German potato salad that's like oh, a mustard yeah. and and like dill yeah. and like herb like that i can absolutely still get. cold right still cold yeah just not creamy i just realized this might be our least listened to episode <laughs> of the podcast i was like i am feeling passionate right now but i don't know if that's gonna track for everyone listening here's the thing is i would listen to someone discussing this okay, at length. Great. so you know what if we lose all our sponsors to this one that's fine we're doing what we love right now we'll get a potato sponsor you know i just want to talk about food yeah okay um, what's yours so number four number four mm-hmm potato chips <gasps> nice yeah here's the thing i thought about what would i miss the most yeah, yeah 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 and like i there are some times where i'm like i will fucking kill someone for mm -hmm. like a crinkle cut kettle chip yep. salt and pepper or like yeah so one like once every three years when i'm like i'm gonna eat a whole bag of uh like sour cream and cheddar Ugh, ruffles yeah. yeah doritos even fantastic well, Doritos, I don't think are potato, are they? I'm not Probably sure. Probably not. Yeah. So, but like just an iconic Those chip. Basic. Salt and vinegar. See, I'm, I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm not a salt and vinegar person, but I understand oh. like pineapple on pizza. Like that is amazing for some people. But like a basic uh, like potato chip, like I don't know what you call it when it's thick and crispy. I say kettle, kettle cooked. Kettle cooked. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know either. I feel but it's fantastic. I mean, I but I just I know that's also a brand, but like they go thicker. Yep. Like it's crunchier. Like yep. uh, like your mouth is sore. You get sharp edges yeah. in your mouth. Like there are like tiny paper cuts covered yep. in salt in your mouth somehow. But it's worth I it. Love, did potato chips make your list? Yes, they did. Okay, okay. They did make my list. Um, what number? I, oh wait, you don't want to reveal. Okay, I, I will they, reveal no, as no, no. they okay. show up. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm like the end of my the end of my list is a little goofy. Mine is too. So I'm like they could all kind of be interchanged a little bit. I agree. Um, it was the top five. It was the yeah. top three that got that was like we got to really. We were gonna do just five, and then you suggested <laughs> ten, which I appreciated because by the time I got through five, I was like, there's so many other beauty queens that I would like to mention in this Grace, list. Grace texted me this morning. It was like early morning reminder oh, to yeah. rank your potatoes. I was like, you got it. I was like, are we doing five? Are we doing ten? She was like five sounds good and then i took yoga mm -hmm. during it thought about food and came out and was like i think we're gonna need to go 10 I and i was like absolutely <laughs> i'm sitting here with seven tabs open looking at four different ways to prepare potatoes au gratin and thinking oh. some of, that didn't make my list however oh spoiler um okay, okay well let's get into five five uh i'll go yeah super specific tgi friday's potato skins Okay, you can I just forgot say about that entirely. You can just say potato skins, I think. Potato skins, but when I think of the ones you I think want, of Fridays. I think of TJ Fridays. They make them in the frozen section that you can like heat up now. Here's what I'm gonna say about that. Yeah, that to me is very similar to a twice baked potato. You think so? I do. Okay. I that don't is, know. I feel. I mean, to me, it's a little baked potato. -y. I mean, it's just a shell with. It's just like, a shell cheese and cream cheese or oh, okay. uh, sour cream and chives and stuff on, and bacon mm. on top of it it's basically like taking a baked potato but making it a little yeah, bit yeah. smaller it's, it's a cup yeah it's a potato cup yeah 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 okay that sounds delicious yeah i didn't i forgot about them entirely until i was looking at lists of different potato preparations and it came up and i was like that does sound amazing here's what i wonder mm -hmm. i would like to do some research because i wonder if potato skins were invented by someone at a restaurant that was like hey yeah. guys instead of peeling all these potatoes mm -hmm. for our mashed potatoes let's bake them 
turn that into mash yep. and reuse these skins. Yes, they do read as a trash to treasure item. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. do read that they like do. this was going in the garbage, but some drunk person might yep. eat this. And mm-hmm. they're absolutely right. I, I would. And in thinking especially about like Super Bowl coming yeah. up and like where am I most eating potatoes yeah. at something like that? I'm like, this is what I would want. Handheld? Yeah. Now that you're saying it, my mm. Yams Casino is actually a sweet potato skin. Yeah. With cheese and a bunch of stuff. That but, sounds amazing. And then guess what I do? What? Because you know how I turn stuff into leftovers. Yeah. Your scooped out sweet potato mm-hmm. from that day, the next morning, you turn those into tortillas for a breakfast <gasps> taco. That's straight up witchcraft. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, mine- What's your number five? Scalloped. Oh, gratin. <gasps> Daffinois. See, I'm not mm-hmm. as... I didn't give them a chance because they're a bit unfamiliar to me. Like, they're, I don't think they're bad by any means. They're a go-to in this house. Yeah. I will make well, of them. of course, yeah. I know the... the um, I feel like I might have offended Chip by not even considering <laughs> well, them. No, <laughs> uh, but also, I think it's a... I love the colloquialism yeah. of, like, do you call them scalloped? Do you call them au right. gratin? Do you call them... But what's their deal? <laughs> so it's like sliced thinly. Right. And then there's different ways to prepare it. Like, you know, whether it has a crunchy topping or not. Uh-huh. I do like a mixture of like, uh, I do like a mixture of like, I do like a bechamel. So like a okay. cream with the flour, with the butter, yeah. with, I put a bunch of thyme in it and garlic. And then, mm. um, and then I will, controversial, okay. I will let that cool. I'll add an egg in there. <gasps> so that way, like it gives it a little more like bounce. Thickness. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just layers of potato on layers of potato. Thin, 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 thin. Yeah, all stacked up. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that does sound good. It's... I need to make it for you. I know. I really... That's probably part of the problem is I haven't had it in... I couldn't tell you the last time I had it. Right. Unless at that Thanksgiving that Chip made them. (laughs) Where we learned... No, we went mashed. We go mashed Uh, on Thanksgiving. But like, it's not... I feel like scalloped potatoes uh need to be more of a thing at restaurants. Yeah, that's the thing. They're not so readily available. Maybe that's it's a, they're a pain in the ass. Classism, you know. Yeah. They seem like they're for very, very fancy occasions, very mm. fancy restaurants. That they're like a beef Wellington, where it's oh. like this takes a long time to prepare. So it's like you don't get this at a TGI Fridays. So. Okay, but I'll uh, maybe it. now's the time to like bring it down to the lay people. I love it. I love the scallop <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, nothing against them. I gotta maybe I just need to educate myself more on them. It's time to forget generic gifts. They just create clutter. Instead, let me recommend a gift that is truly as unique as your relationship with whomever deserves this gift might be. A professionally recorded song crafted just for them. Yes, really. I am talking about Songfinch. Songfinch is the ultimate gift to show how much you care. An original studio quality song inspired by your story that's completely unique, personal, and lasts forever. Songfinch walks you through a simple four-step process to create an original song. All you have to do is tell them about who the song is for, provide them some personal details, and let them know the type of song you want. Then pick your favorite Songfinch artist or get matched with one, and they'll pour their heart into writing, recording, and producing your original song in just four to seven Seven days. Special add-ons can help commemorate the occasion even more, like a vinyl record of your song, one-of-a-kind art crafted from your lyrics, or adding your song to streaming services so you can more easily surprise your unsuspecting recipient. Songfinch is the only original music platform that guarantees that you'll love your song or they'll work with you until you do. They stand behind their community of talented artists and every original song they create over 300,000 of them. Oh my goodness. And this Valentine's Day, put your heart on the line with a studio quality song that's totally unique to your relationship. It only takes four to seven days, but the song will last forever. You guys, Mamrie made me a song through Songfinch, and I was truly blown away. You've probably seen it in my vlog. You've seen us talk about it on the podcast. It's unbelievable. Thank you so much to the artists that put their time and effort into that song. I really was, you know, speechless. (laughs) And if you're interested, for a limited time, Songfinch is letting our listeners upload their song on Spotify for free so you can listen to your new song anywhere you go. Go to songfinch.com slash TMGW and start your song. After you purchase, you'll be prompted to add Spotify streaming 
for your original song for free. That's a $50 value. This offer is only available to our listeners at a special URL, songfinch.com slash TMGW. That's songfinch.com slash TMGW. Do not wait. Get started now. Anyone out there frustrated with their wardrobe right now? I know that I am. Maybe it doesn't match, you know, what you believe to be your evolving style. Whether you're going on vacation, looking for maternity wear, or if you're simply just like bored of your old choices, the stylists at Stitch Fix make sure that you always have something to wear. I love Stitch Fix. It is the best way to shop for new styles and brands. You think of them as your style partner. Your stylist will learn about your tastes and collaborate with you on looks that you'll love without breaking the bank. You simply share your preferences, your sizes, your budget, and Stitch Fix sends you five items in a fix right to your door. With your choices in mind and sizes from extra small to 3XL, they'll find the perfect fit. You try everything on at home, how fun. You keep what you like and you send back the rest. Shipping and returns are always free. They have over 1,000 brands and styles. So no matter what season of life you're in, Stitch Fix has you covered. You can order a refresh as needed, or you can set it and forget it with regular fixes. You are in control. Over time, Stitch Fix and their seasoned style experts will match you with greater precision to perfect pieces for you based on your likes and dislikes. It is so easy. I love Stitch Fix. I tend to gravitate towards the same same basic clothing all of the time and Stitch Fix helps me stay within a realm that I'm comfortable with but push me a little further than I normally would if I was shopping on my own. I have a jacket that I've had for I think four years now that came from Stitch Fix that clearly I love. So thanks to Stitch Fix. They just get me and they will get you too. Try today at stitchfix.com slash TMGW and you will get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash TMGW, stitchfix.com slash TMGW. Well, we're, we've gotten through the first five. Okay. Now this is where it gets squirrely and interesting. Okay. What is your number six? I have these kind of as the same thing, but people might think that they're very different. So there is like a tie. Waffle fries slash curly fries. Because to me, they're very similar in what they offer. I have <laughs> waffle fries for number six, <gasps> curly fries elsewhere. Oh, okay. So what do you think is different about them? Curly fries has different seasoning. I guess that's true. I'm, yeah. I guess I'm thinking more the shape, obviously very fun, very frisky Yeah, for a potato. And also the ability to... Um, contain sauce yes they, they have much more of an ability to carry sauce with them when i in my head i go waffle fries chick-fil-a yeah curly fries arby's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but i, but guess I think there is a, a specific this, type of seasoning yeah what's the seasoning because well, there see. is because i remember growing up that we just had frozen curly fries yeah. that went in the oven at least like once a week all the time and with they the were fantastic Joe, get out of here so yeah there is a specific seasoning for curly fries, mm -hmm. um, and it is made of like paprika, yeah, yeah, cayenne, garlic powder, and onion powder. That tracks. So like, but that's not necessarily on a waffle fry. It could right. be, yeah, but I don't think it's a, a specific. Okay, well, if I had to choose, I think I would go waffle fries mm -hmm. in this six. So we both spot. have waffle fries at six. So we both have waffle fries. Here's at six why because... I love a waffle fry. Yeah, there's lots of little places for it to grip mm -hmm. the ketchup. Also, I have no idea how they're made. No idea. Close my mind. They look like yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, how did you get here? Is there a stamp? Is right. there? Uh, how do I... they get the little squares out? Right. I I don't know, <laughs> but I love it. They're like these little pieces of art that you just yeah. like can get so much sauce like, on what in the world. Yeah. Like who, inv who invented this? Who invented the huge machine that does it? Yeah. I could wa I could look it up on YouTube and in, uh, in two seconds. You know what? I like a little mystery. In yeah, my life. I think that's kind of the appeal. I'll like, never How did this get here. I'll never make a waffle fry. No, exactly. Which then it becomes, it's fun because it's something that I can't do. Yeah. So it is a treat. Absolutely. And I just wow. feel like there's a density to them. Like when you're eating like, let's say, shoestring potatoes. Not for me. 
But when you're eating uh, them, took, put them on, took them off. Yeah. Uh, see, I, you're, I'm grabbing them by the bunch. Me too. To and put them in my mouth. And then like, what's the point? <laughs> just shoving them, in, <laughs> just yeah. shoving them in your face. <laughs> and a waffle fry is like, here, you honestly probably want half a potato in each bite. So let me give you one. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Number seven. Seven. You go first. I'll, I'll tell you, I'm a little less confident in the placement of these, but this is, I guess, what the heart wanted earlier today. So I put potato pancake at seven. Here's the thing. I put shredded hash browns extra crispy, which mm. is essentially this, a potato pancake. Exactly. Exact. But I'm thinking like latkes, like yes. full sour cream. Like usually they come with what? Sour cream and well, applesauce. Okay. So it's I'm the different accoutrements. Cream. When I go to... Waffle House. Yeah. And I get my hash browns. I'm like extra, extra crispy. Yeah. Which yeah, means yeah. it's just one big potato yep. pancake. But I agree. If you go to a German beer garden, mm-hmm. are you get well, you get uh, potato salad probably for you, but yeah. you can get those potato pancakes with that crisp well, we, cold applesauce. We order from Cantor's and we'll Deli? get yeah, and we'll get like oh. matzo ball soup and latkes I'm and it's drooling. like I know and it's like the best thing ever cuz oh. it's just comforting yeah. but it doesn't feel too bad for some reason but it's just yeah, plates of beige. Oh my god. Yeah, they're delicious. But I want it so bad. I know that I'm like <laughs> I'm swallowing a lot of saliva <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we kind of have a similar seven. Yeah, similar seven. We're down to the last three. This goes off the rails. Yeah. But- I truly was just hungry this morning because my number eight is ridiculous. I well, think I've it? eaten it three times in my life. Okay. I didn't know about my number eight till like a couple months ago. And so- okay. <laughs> number eight, a croquette. Okay. Fried mashed potatoes. I saw a photo of that earlier and I was like, that looks delicious, but I'd be a fraud to put that on my list because I can't say that I've actually had one. Girl. They look fantastic. You, what are they? So They're like little pieces like, of potato? No. So it's like mashed potatoes uh-huh. and then like coated in breadcrumbs and deep fried. So oh. it, almost, it looks like a mozzarella stick. It looks like a yeah. capsule. Okay. But then it's got warm potatoes. Because I saw what? Spanish croquettes? Yeah, uh, it's on big. a list, and I was like, "Yeah, I would eat the shit out of that," but I can't say I have, so I don't know if well, I would put that on my list. Right? They can be balls. I've seen them yeah. more like a like a longer, yeah, like a pill form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's deep fried mashed potatoes. Yeah, and I and you can put like ham in them and stuff like that. But Oof. I mean, me putting it at number eight was bold because I do not know the last time I ate a croquette. But they're fantastic. But and but I like saying croquette. Right. But again, like potatoes au gratin yeah they're just not offered everywhere if they That's were true i might eat them more yeah normalized croquettes normalized croquettes y'all what is your eight <sighs> loaded potato soup oh which, my god i didn't even think of soup i know i started making this very bland version of potato hmm. soup during cancer recoveries because it was super simple to make and it uh i made it like without cream like with mm, um mm-hmm coconut milk or coconut cream and it was so easy and delicious and just easy for me to eat yeah but now i'm like i'd like to try the full flavor version well here's the deal Mm -hmm. could you just turn mashed potatoes into potato soup like you just add some stock and a little more like cream and then you thin it out and i think it's literally like you add uh, like chicken broth or something I can't to like leave this episode. I know we we're like we have nothing to talk <laughs> no, about. We're forty no, minutes in and no, we're still. This is my, my dream episode. Yeah. You don't even understand. It's just important. It's important, and we want to give you guys ideas if you're thinking of side dishes to uh, make for the Super Bowl. Wait, there you go. So are you gonna make some potato soup? Sorry, I interrupted you with how um, ridiculous this is. Maybe at some point. It's not on my list. Not just, tonight. Not tonight. Okay. Um, I think I would much more prefer making a twice baked potato before I get into a load of potato soup. Okay. But it was just fun to make because it was like a pretty easy and a different way to eat a potato versus like constantly just doing a baked potato. Yeah. So that I put there, I'm not super confident in it being at number eight, but yeah, if you put tons of cheese and sour cream and all of that, it feels like, Oh, here's a fun new way to slurp a potato. Incredible. (laughs) Yeah. Um, okay. Number nine is uh, we've already discussed. It was curly for me. Did you do your number eight? Oh, yeah, it was croquette. Croquette. Okay. Croquette. Curly is yours. Okay, my number nine, chips. 
chips. Wow, all the way down at nine. This but is you're a not, chip girl. I like chips. I don't know if it is me just coming off of mm. chemo stuff and like uh, the chips were too salty for me to eat oh, during. Okay. Like I'd have some occasionally, but um, I'm slowly getting back to them. They probably should be higher on this list, but mm. that's just where they landed. Look, that's fine. And yeah. also, I feel like you've been in your creamy era. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's tough to make this list and say this is my end all be all list. No. Because a week from now, I could be craving chips like crazy. It and be shifts. Like, that's where I'm at. It yeah. shifts. It shifts. Um, okay. And number 10, there are so many other things I could put there. Yeah. <sighs> I went tots. Tots. I went tots. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I again, I have two things tied that don't really have anything to do with each other, but I just felt two like... Thing, you have a lot of ties, and I don't think that was the assignment, Grace. I know. Well, it's just like there's so many beauty queens that I think need to be <laughs> represented. So I have hash brown okay, tied with poutine, Those which I don't even so know. so different. I know they're different. I was going to put poutine is amazing. I know. And then I was like, because I don't know if poutine actually qualifies. Is it just a French fry? Because that's just a French fry technically. And it's like a, the dish is made by the other mm. accoutrements on it. Mm -hmm. So but then I saw a recipe on one of these lists for super crispy hash browns. And I was like, oh, damn, when they're prepared that way. Like My number seven. About, that looks pretty good to me. Ooh, yeah. OK. Poutine. Ooh, I man. know. I don't know if poutine counts, but it did sound delicious to me earlier. Today. Honestly, the amount of drunk poutine I've eaten at Montreal just for last. Yeah, exactly. It's the only place I've ever eaten poutine. It's never is really wasted me... face in Montreal. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever had it sober. So no. maybe I should maybe do that. Maybe it sucks. <laughs> Sorry, our Canadian listeners. I'm sure it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, Here's the thing with tots. Yeah, I don't like it's it's so funny because with tots like I. I think it's a nostalgia thing. Yeah. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. I feel like that was when I would come and spend my summers with my dad and stepmom. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was on the rotating top five sides. Yes. So it would be like they make their chicken and then it would be like and it'd either be like broccoli and rice or yeah. it'd be like tots and salad. You yeah. know what I mean? Like to yeah. me, it's just very much like, oh, nostalgia. tots is family. Tots is family. Tots yeah. is family. We also grew up, yeah, having tots just when my mom wanted to spice it up from the curly fries, you know? <laughs> What's well, another frozen bag we can heat up I that know. is this golden uh, color? And they were fine. They never fully appealed to me. I but feel like culturally, mm. we've tried to make tots happen the way French fries have, and I just don't think oh. they've taken off. That no, same way. I think it's tots are tough. <laughs> <laughs> tough, tough, tough totties. You know what I don't like? Uh, I don't like in the era of no carb, mm. how they're trying to make other things into tots. Oh, like cauliflower? Yeah, or like broccoli tots. It's like, just oh. give me a regular tot. Yeah. Tit for tot. But what's the, what is the tot in reference to? The shape I think of so. the item? So it, anything can be a tot? I think, well. It's not specific to the potato part? Not everything can be tot, Grace. <laughs> I think it's basically like the same as a hash brown. They're shredded. Yeah. And then they're just made into little bullets. Right. But is the tot the shape versus yeah. the item that's it's being made of? I think tot so you is can make the shape. Broccoli tots. You, you can, can make, make okay. broccoli tots, Got but it. I think we should not. I agree. That doesn't. I'm like trying to picture it in my head, and I can't picture what a broccoli tot looks like. I tried to do a, like a cauliflower tot once, yeah. and I was like, "Please let this be good." <laughs> and I, it was just like it was like glue yeah. that held its shape for a moment. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm not uninterested. Oh <laughs> man. So I have. Wow. absolutely adored this episode this was very fun and i am wow. curious for those that played along with us yeah how close were your lists to our lists and are we omitting and forgetting some obvious potato? I know. that's my biggest kind of worry about this is the fear that i'm like what i feel like i'm forgetting some form of potato that too. seems obvious but I, I can't think of it i think we covered a good gamut i mean yeah. i'm already like croquette what are you doing here I you know, was, I'm like, I can't wait to try a croquette. <laughs> like the idea of taking a mashed potato and frying, frying it, like it. that sounds really great. It's delish. I feel like let's get tots out of there and let's make okay. croquettes happen. I know tots is hanging on by it. 
tit titty titty tat 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 um this is i love i was like grace we can only record for 30 minutes i've got to go and now i'm like should we open the floor to questions (laughs) (laughs) should we i'm like should we release this early (laughs) are there any potato farmers out there that'd like to guest on this podcast next week (laughs) wow oh my god i am drooling i am hungry yep and this got weird oh yeah